It is a place of freedom, excitement, and exploration. It is a completely new reality. The best virtual reality fantasy game that is out now. It is Chrono Life. Welcome to your next journey. But the first thing that welcomed this newbie was a player who raised his middle finger saying that the newbie was a stupid player. Others wouldn't accept him since their group didn't accept inexperienced players. And also, a kid holding a lollipop while picking his nose says that he cannot be accepted since his equipment sucks. That child told him to come back if his equipment was all plus 11. Many players are chattering and at the center is the MC named Ji Woo Lee who is a newbie. He said that he wants to screw this game. All the other players start to avoid him because Jiwoo is cursing and feeling salty as no one lets him join the party. Jiwoo was crying and whining. He said, piece of crap game. Damn this game. Those guys don't know anything about the items in this game. Do they not know how strong this sword is? I spent so much in app purchases to get this. While he was whining, a cute and innocent looking lady appeared. She asked for excuses from Jiwoo. Jiwoo started blushing and asked for her name. This girl didn't introduce herself, but I will just call her Luna for reference. Luna who acts cute said, I was wondering if you would like to party up with me and go farm? Hearing that made Jiwoo become a simp and think that Chrono Life is the best game ever. While they were walking towards the farming area, Jiwoo was boasting about his achievements in life. Luna was complimenting Jiwoo, and Bro's face turned into that of a simp as he said, Oh, it was really nothing. I actually got some money from my parents yesterday. I spent a ton on in-app purchases. Luna said, Wow, how much did you spend? Jiwoo with a Sigma face laughed and said, Don't be surprised I bought the 55,001 Beginner Warrior Package. 55,001 is around 55 US dollars for reference. While holding the sword he proudly said that this knight's to handed sword came with the package. It was a plus 3 reinforced equipment. Luna looks at him saying that he is cool and he is like a knight out of a fairy tale. Hearing that made Jai Wu's heart beat faster and the future flashed before his eyes. From just dating in the game Chrono Life to having their first kiss, to Jiwoo proposing to her, getting married, and eventually having a child. This simp bastard couldn't help but think about what they should name their daughter. Just from hearing one sentence, he became delusional, imagining all these scenarios. Luna happily told Jiwoo that they were now in the farming area. Jiwoo turns around and scans the whole area. He asks, what do you mean? We are just in the middle of the forest. But suddenly, without hesitation, Luna stabs her staff in Jiwoo, and the health percentage of Jiwoo's character plummeted to the bottom. Jiwoo was confused at this time. He was sweating while lying on the ground. He looked at Luna and said, Why are you doing this? Wait a minute, are you after my weapon? Luna smiled and said, I do not need your trash weapon, loser. From the get-go, I just wanted to lure you here to kill you to the center of the forest, where there is no one around. Jiwoo asks, you lured me here? Then wanting to farm together was a lie too. Luna chuckled and she said, well, duh. Why on earth would I farm with you? You are nothing but a freaking stupid newbie. Hearing that hurt the feelings of Jiwoo. But that didn't stop Luna from insulting Jiwoo. She said, I bet you are a loser in real life too, huh? I can guarantee I am way out of your league. Go get more money from your parents and use it to reinforce those crap weapons of yours. If you suck at the controls, at least you could do is have good equipment. Oh wait, you said you only got the beginner's package, right? I guess your parents are broke losers. Because of that insult, even a simp could also be hurt. Jiwoo slowly stood up and said, Cut it out, do not bring my parents into this, you stupid girl. But because of that Luna got angry and sliced down Jiwoo in half. As blood splashes on Luna face, she said, Don't talk to me like that. Packing stupid newbie. After that, a notification pops up. The notification told Luna that her quest is now complete and now she will advance into a hidden job class. Her outfit was slowly changed by the system. Luna's outfit transformed into something resembling that of an angel, complete with wings that gracefully expanded. The advancement was complete and now she possessed a hidden job class, that of the goddess of life. Luna smiled saying that right now she finally killed 1,000 people and then she started stretching her body in front of the corpse of Jiwoo. Before she left, she stomped on Jiwoo's back and said that she only got one quest left to finish. On that day, Jiwoo learned one thing. He learned that in this game only the strong survive. And a notification pops up that his character died. 
Jiwoo goes back to the spawning area and a notification pops up saying that he has lost a portion of his experience and will be revived now in a safe area. Jiwoo remembers the time when that crazy beach was insulting him even his parents. The guy who raised his middle finger at him and that kid who didn't accept him at the party. After that, Jiwoo cried and felt depressed. He was going crazy and picking the hammer of reinforcements that raised the item reinforcement level by plus one. He put the knight's two-handed sword on the ground and slammed the hammer of reinforcement on it with all of his might. But he failed to reinforce that item and the item was destroyed. Then he picks up the plus five leather glove and iron, then smash it with a reinforcement hammer again. But he has failed to reinforce the item and it ends up being destroyed. Same with the other items that he has. In the end, he became an armorless player with nothing but underwear left. The fastest way to grow stronger is through item reinforcement. But if the reinforcement fails, the items get destroyed and you will end up losing everything. Jiwoo crying and was thinking that he should just quit the game and wanted to screw it. But while left as a beggar, a wooden stick appeared in front of him. It was the default weapon for beginners, and its description indicated a very weak item. And the one who gives the wooden stick is the character waving in front of him. In his mind, what is with his goofy-looking character? Judging by his appearance, he must be a total newbie. He is wondering if that guy is giving him that item, but seeing the sparkling and the thumbs-up sign of that guy, Jiwoo thinks that this guy is giving that wooden stick to him. The boy waves at Jiwoo to bid goodbye. In Jiwoo's mind, not even the newbie's feeling bad for me. But then again, I am sitting here in just my panties with a pile of destroyed items. Since he has nothing to do, he glances at the wooden stick. Then he smashes it with the reinforcement hammer he has. A notification pops up saying that the reinforcement was successful. The wooden stick becomes a plus one wooden stick with plus one damage. Then he reinforced it once again and it was still successful and the wooden stick turned into plus two. Seeing the two consecutive successful reinforcements makes Jiwoo starts to question, what even is my life? Why does this only work when I am leveling up this stupid newbie item? Then he reinforced that wooden stick again and it was four consecutive successes. He smashes it with that hammer again thinking that the wooden stick will break soon since the higher the reinforcement level, the higher the chance of the next reinforcement failing. Then he reinforced it again and again until the sun set down. His hands were shaking as he continued to smash it on the wooden stick, and for the last time, he struck it with the hammer of reinforcement, and a bright light appeared with Jiwoo who was sweating too much from just reinforcing it. A notification appeared congratulating him because he had reached the highest level of reinforcement for that item, a plus 99 wooden stick. He was sweating and shaking while holding that stick. In his mind, are you kidding me? A plus 99 reinforced wooden stick? How does this even statistically make sense? Even at plus 10, the change of success for the next reinforcement is less than 5%. Then the wooden stick slips from the hand of Jiwoo, he tries to catch it as it rolls down in the air. He was able to catch and grab that wooden stick, but it was able to land and tap on the ground. The next thing that happened was, from that small tap of the plus 99 reinforced wooden stick, it created the strongest shockwave that destroyed the whole area. The shockwave extended to another island, crossed to the other continent, reached different parts of the planet, and continued until it vanished into outer space. That seemingly small tap turned out to be even stronger than the serious punch of Saitama in One Punch Man. This player who was only wearing underwear couldn't believe that everything in front of him was destroyed and disintegrated just like that. Other players were shouting, asking for help. Some were ordered to save the NPCs, and all players were confused. They questioned if it was a surprise event in the game or if a dragon had just used its fire breath, as such a calamity had occurred without any prior announcement in the game. Jiwoo was still not moving, shocked by the event, and beads of sweat formed on his forehead. Another player shouted for everyone to look over there, pointing out that the whole continent was cracked in half. On this day, a new Guinness World Record was made in the category of the virtual reality games. That record was the number of players hitting game over in one single moment. It was a total of 850,617 players. Because of that one attack, many notifications pop up saying that his attack slain another player and that his reputation has fallen. This evil bastard smiled, he remembered that girl Luna who told him that his parents are broke and losers. His shark-like teeth were visible in his ominous smile as he laughed.
He remembered the time when he was cut in half and the child who had insulted him, calling him a stupid newbie player. With the strongest weapon in his hand, the plus 99 wooden stick a new beginning was about to come. He said that death was just a price to pay for knowledge. In this game, only the strong survive. It is time to teach the rest of you a lesson you packers. In real life, Jiwoo was just a nobody. He is not particularly handsome or tall. His grades aren't great, nor he is good at sports. If he had to rank in terms of game tiers, he would be about bronze 4. Jiwoo was walking in the street only wearing underwear and a cape with the plus 99 wooden stick in his hands. Suddenly he bumps into a big muscular bald guy. This makes the bald guy angry and he grabs Jiwoo in the collar. The bald guy said, what the hell? Who are you? This little stupid newbie must have a death wish. You better watch where you are going, man. The girl who is the girlfriend of the bald guy laughs and told his boyfriend to stop what he is doing since he is scaring the newbie. Jiwoo said, let go of me fatty. The bald guy got angry and asked her what the hell is he saying. But Jiwoo taps the wooden stick into the cheeks of the bald guy. After feeling that hit, the bald guy got angry and the veins in his head were about to burst. He said, did you just hit me? Are you seriously trying to pick a fight with me using a wooden stick? Then the next thing that happens is the great shockwave from that attack of the mythical wooden stick takes effect and creates a massive explosion that kills that bald guy in an instant. The shockwave was felt in all over the town. The girlfriend of the bald guy was sweating and in complete shock from what happened. Her boyfriend turned into nothing. Not even a speck of dust could be seen as he disintegrated. For Jiwoo, even he was just a normal person outside. In the chrono life, he was different. He was the top dog there. He believes that he is the main character of this world. This simp bastard turned into a character with chronic main character syndrome. But while he was thinking that he was the main character a notification pops up. It is a warning that his weapon is badly damaged and will break soon. The plus 99 wooden stick can only be used 5 times and this weapon cannot be repaired. At that moment, Jiwoo knew that he was packed up. In the small alleyway, Jiwoo was looking at the wooden stick. The details of the wooden stick are that it is the default weapon given to the beginners. Because of its highly weak durability, it will break after a few hits. Because of this, he could only lie down from the disappointment of the turn of events. Jiwoo could only look up to the sky while thinking. He said, so if it has a durability of 5 and I struck with it 2 times that means I can only use it 3 more times? I am screwed. I was going to beat up those guys who rejected me. Not to mention, I need to get revenge on that girl. He clenches his teeth and stands up. He said, I know what to do. I have only got 3 hits left, right? Jiwoo entered the place called the Ravine of the Deceased. The area was filled with the skulls of the deceased and Jiwoo stepped on them one by one as he made his way towards the location of the boss monster. This guy goes into the place where the strongest monster resides with only a piece of cape to protect him and an underwear. While he was walking in the area, Jiwoo was muttering something which I don't even know but suddenly the ground starts to shake him. After that tremor, a massive explosion erupted from the ground. A terrifying monster emerged, roaring with a glare so intense that its roar produced shockwaves strong enough to push someone. Despite the menacing appearance of the monster, Jiwoo didn't even flinch. That monster was actually Chrono Life's ultimate boss monster. The twin-headed dragon Yuris. Yuris tries to show off his might in front of Jiwoo. Compared to that monster, Jiwoo was just a small speck of dust in terms of size. Yuris said, how brave of you mere mortal to walk straight to your own doom. This is the land where life and death converge. Foolish mortal, it is time for you to fall in unbearable despair. This bastard broke the fourth wall in the manhwa within the anime verse. Before Yuris could finish the speech he was programmed to say, Jiwoo swiftly slashed the wooden stick, disintegrating the other head of Yuris. The twin-headed dragon, Yuris, transformed into a one-headed dragon in an instant. At this moment, the realization that the other half of his head had disintegrated couldn't sink in for Yuris, as he was still in a state of confusion. Jiwoo was continuously muttering at this time. He said, either way, I have only got three strikes left. But since he used the other one he only has two strikes left. At this time Yuris was so shocked. With his eyes that were about to burst out, he said that in the two strikes, 
he might as well kill the strongest boss in the game with it. This made Yuri's flinch from fear. This bastard was so scary that even an NPC felt fear of him. Yuris told Jiwoo to wait and just hold on for a second. Jiwoo starts to question what the heck is he trying to do. Yura said, please listen to what I have to say. Hey boss, just hear me out. Jiwoo replied, what do you mean boss? You called me a foolish mortal just a second ago. Yuris was stating his reasoning stating that he was sorry and he just said the script that he was following. Jiwoo asks, what happened to all that medieval style talk from earlier? Yuris said, that is not the real me, I swear. Who are you? And how are you so strong? Jinwoo replied, I don't know dude. Stop asking questions and just die. With just one swing from his wooden sword, it creates a massive slash that hit Yuris. Yuris was screeching from that attack. Yuris was on the ground and on the verge of dying, but what the heck is this? I don't even know why the dragon's face turned into the face of a man. The durability of the wooden stick is only one out of five. Jiwoo took a sigh and said, I've only got one strike left. Man, why did it all have to end like this? If only weren't for this durability system. Hearing that caught the attention of Yuris and an idea came into his mind. Jiwoo was about to slash Yuris with his wooden stick but Yuris suddenly said, Durability you say? Is that what was troubling you sir? If that is the case, I can definitely help you with that. Jiwoo asks him if it was real. A notification bells pop up. The content is, master-servant relationship contract request from the twin-headed dragon, Eurus. Eurus, the ultimate dragon boss, wishes to relinquish his soul to you. Would you like to accept this quest, yes or no? Looking at the notification, Jiwoo asks what is that? Eurus said, sir, have you ever heard of the Ego Sword? Jiwoo replied, Ego Sword? What is that? Eurus told him that it was quite a complicated story. Jiwoo who was annoyed told him to make it quick. This made Yuris sweat and he said that he will tell him quickly. Yuris said, so basically, I would become your weapon sir. I would give up my physical form and just my soul would be transferred. Then your weapon would become sentient evolving it into the ego sword. Most importantly the weapon has infinite durability. Yuris told him that the ego sword is the highest ranking weapon in the chrono life. This caught the attention of Jiwoo and he started to laugh ominously which even made Yuris flinch. While Jiwoo was laughing and going with the flow, the frightened boss monster also forced himself to join in the laughter. Yuris asks, doesn't that sound like a great offer sir? Jiwoo said, ah, uh, it looks like my story is taking a huge turn. With an evil face and ominous smile, Jiwoo said, I had given up on getting my revenge, but it looked like the heavens above are begging me to get my vengeance. Seeing that ugly and scary face made Yuris tremble and he started to miss his mother. Jiwoo said, alright then, let's make this contract happen. Then he put his finger on the accept button as he wants to accept the quest. Then a sudden flash appeared in the area. Then the physical body of Yuris starts to disintegrate. A notification pops up saying Yuris has relinquished his physical form and now Yuris has entered the weapon of Jiwoo. The rank of the wooden stick now turns into ego with infinite durability. Then the monsters in the ravine of the deceased start to gang up Jiwoo. They are continuously saying that they want to get revenge. They want to take revenge for their master Yuris who they think died so they all attack Jiwoo. As he faced those tons of monsters called Yuris's legion, he remembered the face of Luna. He smiled and said, revenge. That is right. That is exactly what we are going to do. He raised his hand carrying the wooden stick like a psychopathic player then he shouted, let's get revenge. Then a sudden explosion appeared in the whole area. In the town the people gathered in there and on the bulletin board there was a wanted poster that was posted in it which made the people start murmuring. The soldier shouted, attention everyone, a triple S class bounty has been put across the nation. This player has killed over 800,000 players in just one day. He is a heinous player killer who must be caught. This wanted poster has been distributed across the world. All 12 kingdoms across the three continents have received a notice of this bounty. The soldier shouted telling them that the reward was 10 billion gold. The people in there could not believe after hearing it because 10 billion gold is equal to 10 billion won in real life cash or about 8 million US dollars. Then they saw a bunch of soldiers marching forward. One of the players said, hold on, that crest on their armor, are those the guard knights of the royal palace? 
The player told them to look over there because the player leading the knights was there marching, the leader of the sacred guild, saintly. Other players marched forward, surprising the spectators. They wore red cloaks adorned with white crosses, the signature look of the elite guild, the Crusaders, consisting of only 10 members. It was Cross Line. The leader of the Cross Line guild is Suho. A group of mages step in, the most powerful mage of the royal family and the leader of the Holy Land guild. It is Abracadabra. The leader of the thieves or we can say the leader of the righteous bandits. It is Hong. A group of knights carrying the flag made way for their leader, a high elf with pointy ears. He was the ruler of Castle Arden and the leader of the Justice Guild, Hawkeye. The other players were amazed by this event. The five strongest guilds in the world are all gathered here right now. It is the first time the top five guilds have ever banded together. The leader of the top five guilds, Hawkeye shouted, as the leader of the World Guild Alliance, these are my orders. Our guilds shall band together to capture this unprecedented killer. We are declaring war against this criminal, and of course, that criminal is no other than our MC. Bro has a larger bounty than Galdi Roger who is the king of the pirates.